guys, it's Wednesday evening around 11.50, January 4th. I just wanted to come in and do a check-in because I did have a doctor's appointment today. Um, excuse this, some deep conditioning. <laughs> but I did tell you guys we were going to get real and we were going to get raw in here. So, I'm not usually beat. I'm usually looking pretty rough because I'm pretty tired all the time. Um, I wanted to update you guys because I was hoping to be able to take you along to a physical therapy appointment this week, but that's not going to happen. I actually have some type of funky virus going on. I've been sick for about a week and I went to the doctor today and that was a struggle. <laughs> um, comment if you hate going to the doctor. It's funny because I spend so much time at the doctor but it's a gynecologist office, so um, you're bombarded with pregnant women, and you can't catch pregnancy, so <laughs> um, it's different it's going to the regular doctor because you're surrounded by sick people, and it's just gross. I'm not a fan of it, but um, I've been really tired, and I had an ongoing headache and a lot of nausea for the last week, and I haven't slept in the last three days. Which is uncommon for me because with the medication that I'm on, um, it's pretty much like being on sleeping pills because they hit me kind of hard, so I sleep a lot. <laughs> so the fact that I couldn't sleep just kind of told me, I was like, okay, I need to go to the doctor. So I went this morning and um, they did a bunch of different tests because they couldn't really tell what was going on. Because I had a lot of symptoms that didn't really necessarily all add up together. So, um, they did a blood test. They did a flu test. Um, and then they took a urine sample and they used those for quite a few things. They checked all my vitamin D levels, my iron, made sure I wasn't anemic. I think they're still running the test on my thyroid to make sure that that's still okay. Um, and if you want me to, I can go a little bit more in depth at some point about um, how your thyroid can cause a lot of problems with your reproductive health. That's actually one of the things that sets a lot of people off. So um, I can go into depth about that in a video if you want me to. But so far, as far as I know, my thyroid is good. Thank God. Um, I think they checked for diabetes. They checked for quite a few different things. And... <laughs> All of my stuff is really, really good. Um, everything came back clean. Blood pressure is outstanding. Um, you know, for the most part, like, I am very healthy, which is good considering that I have so much going on um, in my reproductive system. I think the biggest thing for me right now is that I am, like, almost 250 pounds. And if you saw me in person, you'd be like... No way. Like, every time I tell someone that I even got close to 200 pounds, they don't believe me because I just, I carry weight funny. Like, I don't, I don't look as heavy as I am, but, you know, like, I can feel it. Um, I can definitely tell, like, the way my clothes fit and stuff, which is just one of those things that I'm dealing with. Like, of course, being in college, you don't have that much access to really great food in the first place, but... Like I said in my health journey video, I can't work out pretty much at all. I've been trying to go back to yoga. I've been trying to do that once a week. Of course, I couldn't do that this week because I was sick. But um, that's what I've been trying to do is at least do a little bit of yoga. And even that, like, yoga can get really painful too because I just have... I can't be in, you know, like, downward dog or even child's pose too long because it just puts too much pressure on my uterus so it's it's a struggle because I absolutely have to you know be active in order for me to keep my weight off and I just can't um and I'm pretty sure like the hormonal fluctuations aren't helping either so that is one of my biggest things that I am excited about, you know, with having surgery. I'm really excited about being able to work out again. So, um, you know, I just wanted to come in, check in, 
with you guys today. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more um, vlog footage up next week because I do have an appointment next week with my OBGYN. And I'll probably try to vlog a couple of the um, some new health recipes that I found because I'm trying to kind of get my eating together because that's going to be one of the biggest struggles, struggles that I'll have because I'm going to have to completely change my diet. And um, those of you who know me know that um, my dad is also dealing with quite a few health issues and he and I have diets that require completely opposite things he is on blood thinners so just about anything green he can't have um anything that has a high concentration of vitamin k is not good for him so um it's been a little difficult we've been slacking on groceries because he can't eat a lot <laughs> and um of course it's been a struggle for me because i'm just like dude i need a vegetable so <laughs> Um, hopefully we'll do some, a little grocery shopping in the next couple of days and I can try out some of the recipes that I've found because I've been trying to find some really good breakfast options because I don't eat the best during breakfast. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit better, um, trying to implement, implement more greens and, um, avocados because the healthy fat from things like that actually help me absorb the calcium that I'm taking, so... I can um, go ahead and add that footage if you guys would like to see that. I think it'll be helpful um, just so that you guys can get some ideas because just because, you know, you might just want to have some other healthy options and I can make sure that I link the recipes in the description box so you guys can go back and um, try to create them yourselves or modify them to suit your needs. So I will probably talk to you guys either tomorrow or Friday. You guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later.
Hey guys, so today is Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to come in and actually talk to you guys about a couple of, well, a few of the teas that I actually enjoy drinking because one thing that I've found in dealing with my health journey is that um, if you're not relaxed, you're going to feel like crap. <laughs> um, and I've definitely found some really good options away from medication that are really helpful to me. Um, I told you guys yesterday that I do have a virus um, and I have been so nauseated, like ridiculously nauseated. <clears throat> when I went to the doctor, they did put me on a nausea medication. I think it's called Zofran or something like that. And it definitely does work, but I don't like taking medicine all the time. Um, I've been on a lot of prescription medication and I find that to an extent it messes me up eventually in the long run and I don't like to feel dependent on anything. So um, right now I'm making myself a mug of peppermint tea and that has really been helping me with my nausea. I drink one in the morning one sometime in the afternoon and one before I go to bed. Typically when I drink peppermint tea, I only drink it before I go to bed because it's definitely soothing, but um, I gotta do what works right now because I don't want to be a slave to my medication. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I've been drinking. Okay guys, so these are my favorite teas that I found in the last few years that I really enjoy for soothing, cramping, stress, all that stuff. So this is what I'm getting ready to drink right now. It's the Smith's Peppermint Tea. And I'm not going to lie, this stuff is expensive. I think it's like 11 or $12 a box, but um, it's the best peppermint tea I've had. Like, It definitely gives me the cooling sensation and it doesn't taste like toothpaste which I found that a lot of other brands their peppermint tea kind of tastes like toothpaste to me and who wants tea that tastes like you're brushing your teeth so this is definitely my favorite um it's nice and sweet you don't have to steep it for a long time and it's just pure peppermint leaves nothing you know added so I really really enjoy this um the next one that I really like is my yogi moon cycle tea um, and I take this typically only when I'm on my cycle and this definitely does help relax me enough to alleviate my cramping. So if you're one of those people that doesn't like to take a lot of medication when you're on your period, definitely try this. I drink it about two to three times a day when I start my cycle and it really does help me out. Another thing that I like to drink either when I'm trying to get relaxed or when I'm on my cycle is chamomile tea. My friend's aunt actually turned me on to this. So um, Amber and your Tia, if you're watching this, um, thank you guys so much for turning me on to this because it definitely has helped me. The only thing is that I'm not the biggest fan of the taste of chamomile. So my mom actually showed me a trick that she does. She adds equal parts hot water and hot cider and then she steeps the chamomile tea for um, about 50 seconds to a minute. And you definitely get the calming sensation of the chamomile but it's not so medicinal so if you like chamomile for its effects but you don't necessarily like the taste of it try that combination it's definitely helpful um and then my last one is the echinacea plus i think this is from yeah traditional medicinals um i like to drink this when i'm not feeling well if i feel like i have a, a cold coming on and it definitely does help me with my um immune system i already have a pretty good immune system i'm definitely not one of those people that's sick all the time so i don't have a lot of issues <laughs> um in that nature but which i guess is good for me since i have a lot of chronic issues going on but i do really like this it does it definitely does taste a little bit medicinal but um i also use this with the apple cider trick that my mom taught me and then of course with everything that with all the teas that I drink I like to add my wildflower honey to it I got this from Whole Foods and it was definitely kind of pricey but one this has lasted me forever like I think I've had this for over a year 
and it's still kicking. <laughs> And um, it has a, a richer flavor. You can definitely tell that it's more local. Um, and this is made in North Carolina. So if you wanna support a more local business, go ahead and check this brand out. Um, I really enjoy it. So those are my favorite teas that I love using when I need to relax or I have some different issues going on. So you have some relaxation. Have some stuff for your cycle and some stuff for your immune system. But yeah, so um, those are all the teas that I like to drink. And they definitely, definitely help me when I'm not feeling well. Especially this peppermint tea. I'm telling you guys, it has been a godsend um, in terms of helping with my nausea. So... Sorry guys, I'm getting used to this whole vlogging thing, so you might get a whole lot of my chest and a lot of my face. Um, I'll probably get better with that as time goes on. But yes, I'm just making some peppermint tea now. Um, I'm actually, clearly I'm in my PJs. Um, still sick, so I'm just kind of cooling it right now. I... I'm going to put in a movie. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a Harry Potter marathon and chill out with my dogs, with my babies, because they are my favorite part of life. And actually, I can get my pets in right now. So this is my baby girl. This is Z. She's my kitty. She is almost 11. <laughs> so, um... I've had her for the longest, and she, she's my love bug. She kind of tries to stay out of the mix. She is not afraid of being around the dogs, <laughs> which they're barking right now. Um, let's see. This little guy is Copper. Hi, VB. Hi. He is our newest addition to the family. We got him over the summer. And he is a handful. As you can see, all he does is run around, jump, bark. He is a sweetheart. He's a really good boy, but he has a lot of really bad tendencies. His his need to dominate has definitely been showing um, the last few months. So um, that's been a bit of a struggle. And then this is, let's see if I can get her. This is my baby girl, Bella. It's hard to get her because she's moving around. Um, <laughs> I actually have her behind this baby gate because she and I are going to be having a movie date. There you are, baby girl. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest? She's a Yorkie. And um, Copper's a Dachshund Chihuahua mix, by the way. <laughs> so um, I actually have her behind there because she and Copper fight a lot. Um, but Copper is a lot bigger than her. So, um, sometimes she just gets really tired of being around him and I don't blame her because I found that he is like so many males out there. He doesn't understand that no means no. <laughs> so we've been dealing with that. And the thing with Copper is that, you know, we've tried a lot of different, like, we've had big dogs in the past and we've tried just about everything that we've tried with our big dogs. Nothing phases him. Like... I think I could throw a rock at that dog and he would not care. It's just, it's crazy. So, um, you know, we're kind of dealing with that right now. He's a good boy. Um, I can't complain because I've heard worse from other dog owners. And I think just Dachshund and Chihuahua is kind of a volatile mix, to be honest. So, um, hey, Copper, see, he's chasing the cat right now. Um, so, you know, he's he's been a little difficult, but I can't complain. He very well could be worse. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and act like we are having the worst time in the world with this dog. So, um, I just wanted to come check in with you guys, show you guys some of my favorite teas. Hopefully, um, that will help you guys out a little bit if you're looking for some alternatives to medications because I'm definitely one of those people. I hate being on medicine. I hate taking pills. 
and I hate the effects that it leaves me with later. So, um, if you have any teas that you really enjoy drinking, let me know. Um, comment them down below so I can go out and try them because I'm a tea hoarder. I love tea. Um, so, definitely let me know. I'm going to take my nice cup of peppermint tea and I'm going to go put in a movie and hang out with my little Bella girl. So, talk to you guys later. So I just wanted to come and talk to you guys real quick before I go to bed because I actually wanted to share one of the books that I'm reading right now. Um, I'm a big fan of reading, but you guys know that I'm in college. I'm in my senior year, which I'll be completing in the fall. Um, and when I'm at school, I don't get a lot of time to actually read things that I enjoy. Um, so definitely while I'm doing this, I really want to take some time you know, pick out things that I've been wanting to either finish reading or wanted to um, really look at and have a chance to read. So I'm trying to pick out different books and really just sit down and relax and enjoy myself. So um, here's one of the books that I've been reading so far. So I'm reading The Silver Star by Jeanette Walls. Um, and if you guys don't know who Jeanette Walls is, she I think this is her third book that she's written. I actually discovered Jeanette Walls in high school um, in one of my English courses. We were required to read one of her books called The Glass Castle. And I just, I really loved it. It was her memoir. And she also went on to write another book about, I believe it was her grandmother called Half Broke Horses. I haven't read it in a while. Um, but I'm just in love with the way that she writes and she definitely works really hard to stress strength in women um, through things that we go through in everyday life so I'm really enjoying this right now it is definitely a, a good read um, so if you're trying to find something that isn't crazy on the action but definitely keeps things interesting and has some real value and life lessons in it I think this will be a great read for you I am enjoying this I'm about um I'm almost done with it I'll probably be finished reading it in a couple of days but yeah I'm just sitting here I have movies in I'm getting ready to read my book and my baby girl is sitting there on the bed with me um I kind of um, rotate between my pets because they don't really get along right now so tonight is her night with me she decided she wanted to be in here um, typically uh, Bella stays with me because she doesn't do very well with copper copper wants to play at night and she is just like no I'm old I'm tired so um, I have my kitty with me this evening Hey guys, I thought I'd come check in. It is Saturday morning around 10 o'clock. And as you can see, we got snow. We actually are still getting snow. I wasn't really expecting to wake up this morning and it would still be snowing. So who knows we're actually gonna how much we're actually gonna get at the end of the day. Um they called for 10 inches. But I didn't think that was actually gonna happen, but it looks like it might. <laughs> so yeah, um, I was actually going to just post my footage from what, I, what I'd what done up to Thursday, but I figured since it was snowing, I'd go ahead and add a little bit more. Um, yesterday, I wasn't feeling that great, but I thought um, it would be good to be a little busy, so I got some stuff done for my mom to take home, well, to take to school. She's a school teacher, so... I got some of her miscellaneous work done. Helped my dad take down the tree. I got all the ornaments and lights and stuff off of the tree so we can go ahead and get rid of that once we're not snowed in. Um, you know, just house things. I made dinner with my brother last night, so that was pretty cute. He was definitely a help to me. And camera's on the focus. There we go. I don't know why I'm focusing this on these people's house. That's kind of awkward. Um, 
But yeah, this is a little bit of my neighborhood. I don't know if the camera will focus, but if not, that's okay because I'm actually going to take you guys along with me when I take Hopper outside because this will be his first snow. So, uh, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. Um, our Yorkie Bella, she is not the biggest fan of snow. So, um, I'm excited to see what he does being out there. Um, so far, like, we, we have the, um, blinds and stuff open downstairs. And so far, he has just continue to bark at the snow he doesn't really understand what's happening and why so um i think that's going to be fun taking him out and seeing what he does um sorry i'm not going to turn on myself right now somehow i managed to like punch myself in the eye last night <laughs> i don't know about you guys but just hearing someone talk about like eye problems gives me the heebie-jeebies like <laughs> It just kind of creeps me out. Like, it makes me feel itchy, and I would feel like a bit of a hypocrite a hypocrite subjecting that, you know, you guys to that. So, hopefully, my eye will look a little bit better when I take copper outside. I'll probably try to wait until the snow dies down to take him out. Or not. I might just do it. Um, Let's see. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> what do you think, man? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hey, Copper. He's like, wait, this shit's cold. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. True. True. What do you think, buddy? He's like, I don't know what to do with this. Do you like it? <laughs> what we got going on, this is us from the back. Playing with a little man. Mom said, Mom said, let's try something. 